Huh? What the? What is this? And then we got our blueberry, little blueberry guy over here. Should be pretty fun to build. Again, I didn't know this keyboard existed until Ryan here commissioned it. So we got extras, and then we have the case here. Although, this is the case. Why did it sound like everything was moving? <laughs> huh? What the? What is this? <laughs> it's a blueberry. I didn't even know they make like fake blueberries. Did, wait, did this come like this? Ryan, did this come like this or did you do this? These candies go pretty hard, bro. Look at this. So it's blueberries and cream. Check this out, guys. And then it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. <laughs> These candies go pretty hard, bro. Thou shall not kill, thou shall not commit adultery, thou shall not steal. <laughs> Damn, bro. And <laughs> candy we trust. <laughs> well, that's funny, man. Oh, this is this is gonna be so cute to take a picture of. Wait, I gotta use these for pictures. That is hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, Ryan. I thought you meant don't show off. Like you said to like not open things. I thought you meant the Motorola keyboard. That's why I felt guilty, because I'm like, well, I had to open that box. I didn't know you meant this. <laughs> hard candy goes hard. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for, uh, for candies. All right, let's dump out our blueberries here. We'll leave the blueberries on stream here. That's, that's just nice to have. Eat one? Guys, I hate to break it to you, but they're not real blueberries. I don't think I, I can digest these, unfortunately, guys. All right, what's, what else is this? Well, I'm so distracted now. This is the keyboard here. Oh, this is cute. Blueberry, all right. This is cute. Again, I didn't know this thing existed. Oh, it's a nice side profile. That's cute. Little, little curve upwards here. Scratch and sniff, can you imagine? This is nice. And then it says Toffee Studio. Oh, there's still a blueberry in here. Bro, there's still, there was like a hidden blueberry underneath there. Yeah, the only hiccup we had with this build, I was telling the owner before our stream, is we, we actually tried to mill max this, and unfortunately, the tolerances of these are just way too tight to mill max. So we're not gonna mill max today. Uh, we ended up basically franken switching a BCP or something of the sort. And we have tons of stuff in the box here, which I don't think we're gonna use at this current, current time. The only thing we need to decide is if we're using foam. Also, it comes with this silicone sheet too, which is something you don't see too often in boards. Alex using foam, you've changed. Guys, I, I've said this multiple times. I don't mind using foam. It is not like a quarrel of mine. I just think from like a standardized, maybe review, you know, standpoint, I think using no foam is smarter. That way there you can actually show people what it sounds like. Ryan, can I remove this? Would you be okay if I peeled this off? Or would you like to do that? Go for it. It's a nice way to actually, the blue on this is really nice. The PC bottom has a purple hue to it. Um. Uh, you know what, a little bit. Or that could just be a reflection of the weight kind of filling in the PC. The blue weight. The uh, polycarb weight, I like the little inset there with the screws, I like, I like that. It's nice and visible, it's cool. All right, let's take this apart. This will have to clean up. I don't know what's going on with this internal weight here, but that'll clean up. That looks like it should just wipe away. Now, next up here is gaskets. Uh, I remember when this board came out, it was like the flexiest thing ever. Yeah, so it does have some flex cuts on it. It's not a wild amount of flex cuts, which I don't mind. Like three cuts is not bad. I don't think it'll destroy the sound signature of this, but we also did use foam and we have a non-flex cut plate. Uh, also, do the thicker ones go on the bottom or the top? I would assume the thicker ones go on the bottom. It looks like they slot better in on the bottom here. Thick bottom, thin top. Thank you, Suzu, I appreciate you. It does have a little bit of like a, a nice bounce to it. 
It's very plush gaskets, so I think that's what it is. All right, let's put some keycaps on this bad boy. Let me get the keycaps real quick. These are nice though. I have to admit, these, these novelties are quite pretty. Hmm. Oh yeah, the artisan looks good there. I like it. All right, let's see what this blueberry sounds like. So here it is, here's the side profile, guys. Little blueberry side profile. I'll zoom in a bit. This is a nice keycap set. This is beautiful. You know, again, would have never thought of ever, I don't know, looking at this keycap set, to be honest. This is nice though, Ryan. Good choice, good choices here. And there's the little blueberry symbol there. Yeah, and apparently there's RGB for this too. So let's see what this looks like with RGB on it. Oh, oh that's a nice side profile, actually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know if it's only blue. I have no idea. Not bad. It's subtle. Like, I like that. From the side, it's like, you got this little peak of blue. Color can be changed. Oh, okay, okay. The default's like 50%. So this gets brighter. Let me, let me open up Via, because this is Via compatible. Oh, wow. Yeah, that gets super bright. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Let's see from this angle. Oh, that is, that's actually pretty cool with it full blast like that. Yeah, that is nice. You can actually see it from the top. Yeah, a little bit. You can see it glowing from the sides. Do we want this at 100% though? I feel like we'll go back to 50. I feel like it's too, too much. I like the subtleness of it. All right, let's see what this keyboard sounds like. This is using BCPs. Um, we did them with 205, Geon Springs, uh, filmed and lubed. And then we have a PP plate with no flex cuts in it and foam in between the PCB and plate and TXAP stabs. Okay, this, this is a good choice with the foam. I like this. There's foam in this, yes. Okay, the only, this is a personal thing. Actually, no, I like it. I was gonna say the space bar maybe doesn't match up, but I think it actually does match up. It's, it's, it genuinely turned out pretty good. Like, I'm very happy with the way this sounds overall too. Again, for a keyboard, I've never really, like I don't have, I don't have any experience with this particular board. So it's nice. I think it's turned out great, Ryan. The switches sound really good too. I'm really, really happy with the way the switches turned out. Yeah, do you want to try the cat keycaps? Surprised the blueberries stay in place, to be honest. Uh, they're actually pretty heavy. I'm not gonna, <laughs> they have some weight to them, man. Uh, we can try the cat keycaps. All right, let's see what the, uh, let's see what these particular ones sound like. These are cat. This looks pretty nice though. It's a cute set. Is it wrong that I like this a little bit more on this particular build? Blueberry's cute. Very cute little board here. Even the PCB with blue looks good through this too. Very awesome. Thank you again for letting me build this, Ryan. I appreciate it. Bye everybody, love you. There's foam in this, yes.